This photo is not at all what I wanted to take. In fact, this is a photo that, I mean, I almost didn't put it up here at all. And I'm not trying to be like, that's not a humble brag. That's not me like, oh, this is not a good photo when I actually really like it. I had a specific goal in mind for this photo and it just didn't work out. And I think I actually know why it didn't work out and I wanna fix it. I wanna take a, a similar photo, but do it right next time. So a little bit of background. I was walking around campus with one of my friends and he and I saw this little water feature on I think the south side of campus. And there's actually a picture of this setup on my blog. If you're listening to this on YouTube, you can click the link and go to my blog and you can see the, the image of my camera on a tripod next to this water feature. And as he and I were walking past this, I thought I wanna get a picture of those drops frozen in midair. I didn't have the right equipment with me at the time. So I came back literally the next day with uh, what you see in that photo is my D500 because it shoots at one eight thousandth of a second. It was my macro lens and a tripod. And I thought, well, I can, I, surely I'll be able to freeze the motion of those drops in midair with a one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed and that kind of thing. And I took almost 400 photos and none of them turned out. And I'm not, like, I'm being serious. None of them turned out. This is the closest I came to having a photo actually turn out. And it's not, that droplet on left is not frozen in midair like I wanted it to. You can see it's, it's traveling downward. And that downward motion, it means it's blurry and it just, the photo did not turn out. I was, I was like super confused when I got back, uh, when I, I looked at all my photos in Lightroom and I thought, well, how on earth could one eight thousandth of a second not be fast enough to freeze the motion of these water drops? And I, you know, I talked about it with my friend Ryan and he offered me some, some suggestions, some things to try with water droplet photos. And then after a little while, I think it was one of those things where like I woke up the next day and it hit me. I realized that I think the reason it didn't turn out was because I was shooting on a tripod with vibration reduction turned on. And that's actually the opposite of what you want to do when you're taking a photo with a tripod. If you have VR on your lens or image stabilization, whatever it's called, turn it off because your camera is already on a tripod and not moving. So you don't need the lens compensating for the lack of movement. In fact, if you do that, you end up with blurry photos because the the mechanism inside your lens or your camera, if you have sensor-based stabilization, is still trying to compensate even though there's no movement at all and it ends up having the opposite effect. So I think that's what happened here. I think I artificially ruined the photos by having vibration reduction turned on. I'm gonna try again. And this photo has given me something to shoot for, literally and figuratively, as in shooting my camera. And I, I'm gonna go back there and try this picture again and uh, don't know when, but I'll do it sometime and we'll see if we can get one that actually turns out.